we've all been nervous going into an interview before. We've also all likely blown an interview, and we've probably also all come away from an interview feeling like we nailed it, regardless of whether or not we landed the position. You have a significant amount of control in the interview process, even if it oftentimes feels like the interviewer is the person in control. I find the best way to go into an interview is with confidence, and to do that it's about being informed about what you can expect and understand what you can control in the process. My name is Brent, I own the Vancouver Express Employment Professionals Office, where we see ourselves as HR doctors. In the previous videos, we discussed our 10 key steps to consider in your job search. We further discussed determining what you want, how to do your pre-search and research, creating your resume, setting on applications, and now preparing for interviews. In this video, we're going to cover the three keys to consider and then dig into them further in some of our following videos. The first point to consider is your mindset. I think this concept applies for most things in life that we do, which is the more time we spend studying and practicing and applying what we've learned, that we tend to become more comfortable and confident. Whether this is riding a bike or learning a new skill, the concept applies the same way to interviewing. If you're called in for an interview, you can research articles and videos on YouTube and understand the many typical interview questions you may be asked. You can also review the company website, look for articles and news on the business, and review the job posting and description. I promise that if you spend time on yourself, educating yourself before an interview, you'll absolutely increase your comfort going in. This comfort will result in greater confidence, which should help you stand out as an applicant. The second point for you to consider is your resume. As someone who's interviewed thousands of candidates, there are some specific things that I look for when I'm questioning somebody about the resume in an interview. The first and most important thing I look for is the truth. It's my job to ask questions and try to poke holes in the story that you're presenting. Unfortunately, the reason for this is many people have misrepresented themselves. I've hired many people who have been fired from their previous positions, but they owned it and shared the story. Versus rejecting candidates who were unable to give straight answers or weren't able to logically explain some of the changes that they made or weren't able to back up certain claims through tangible results or goals. Stick with the truth and try to not only speak about your responsibilities, but also about your accomplishments, your specific contributions to the company and to your team. The third is behavior-based interview questions. Whether these questions are prefaced with a setup or if they're passively asked, you need to be aware of them and be prepared to answer. These questions are great for both sides as the goal is partially to uncover what your results were, but more so to uncover the behaviors or your choices of how you dealt with specific situations. The goal of behavior-based questions is to share stories and context about your specific contribution and how you achieved a goal or result, how you worked with the team to achieve that successful result. An example would be a project where you were the leader and contributed more than half, or where you were an equal member of the team, or whether you were a small part. Being a minor contributor isn't negative unless you embellish or oversell your contribution. Be open and honest and make sure you understand how your contribution, no matter how small, contributed to this successful result. We'll dig into the interview process further in some of our upcoming videos, but remember every minute that you spend on your search, specifically in the areas that you can control, will always be time well spent. Thanks again for tuning in. If you'd like more info on Express, please visit our website, our Facebook, or our LinkedIn, which are all linked below, and feel free to reach out with a call, email, or text, and ask us any questions that you have about your job search or your interviews.